Good morning, school. Good morning, Mr. Dyer. Good morning, everybody. And good morning to everybody at home as well. Everybody at home, you're probably watching this in the afternoon because that's when we're going to put it up. So good afternoon to those of you at home. We're recording this on Friday morning. Um, Welcome to everybody. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. On Monday, in Monday's assembly, I asked you a bit of a challenge. I asked about healthy eating. I said I've been finding it a little bit difficult at home on my own, eating lots of things that weren't very good. So I asked some people to try and design me something a little bit more balanced and a little bit more healthy. So I've put, I've put a suggested meal up on the board. Does that look like quite a healthy meal we could have? I was having quite, I've got lots of people shaking their heads on the board uh, in front of me at the moment. So no, it looks delicious. It looks delicious, but we're not sure it would be healthy. So hands up if you think this next one is, would be a healthy, a healthy diet. Hands up, put your hand up for me if you think that would be a nice healthy thing to eat. Okay. That's interesting because only about half of the children put their hands up for that one. And you can see on there I've got tomato, pepper, broccoli, carrots, peas, sprouts, red onions. Some people think that's not so healthy. That's interesting. Let's show you the next one then. Okay. This one's got a glass of milk, some rice, some chicken, well, fried rice. some broccoli, some strawberries. Might be fried rice actually. How do you think that one's healthy? Oh, about, probably about two thirds that time. Okay, I'm going to show you the last one again. Let's call this one veggie plate. And let's call this one mixed plate. Hands up if you think veggie plate is the most healthy. Hands up if you think mixed plate is the most healthy. That's got slight... Anyone brave enough to tell me why they think the mixed plate is the most healthy one? Anyone being brave today? Or a few people? Okay, I've got some very young people putting their hand up to be brave. Charlie, why do you think, it, why do you think that one's the most healthy? Calcium. It's got a bit of calcium up here. Okay, important source of calcium. Maybe a glass of milk. Tommy, another Easy. idea? I'm just moving it because it's not in the frame. I've got some carbs in there, some carbohydrate. Which ones are my carbohydrates? Um, rice. Yeah, I've got my rice as my carbohydrates, and that gives me my energy. So I need my energy. Not so many carbohydrates on this plate, so it might not give you lots of energy. Well, you've got an idea at the back, haven't you? Go on, what do you think, Charlie? The broccoli is a source of vitamins. Okay, that's, gonna, that's for health. That's one of our fruit and vegetables. We aim to eat five of those a day, don't we? So I've got two portions of fruit and vegetables, and I've got some carbohydrates. What's this one, then? Got a bit of meat on there. Now, sometimes you would use meat for this. Sometimes you might use something like nuts. Sometimes you might use something else. What's that a source of? Oscar? Um, it's a source of, well... Begins with a sound. Um, fat. It has got some fat in it. Has got some fat in it, yeah. Fat's good for energy later on as well and keeps you warm. Protein. protein, well done. That's a source of protein, which is really good for growth. So, although a plate of salad is good from time to time, absolutely, and it is absolutely good for you, and doesn't have anything on there that's bad for you, you can eat as much of this stuff as you like. But it is important to have a balanced diet to also include things like carbohydrates and dairy and proteins as well. I've learned that this week from all the menus that I've been sent in, so thank you to everybody. Now, it's Friday, so we do a celebration assembly on Friday, so it's important we look at some of our students of the week. So, I'm going to read them out in no particular order this week. Congratulations to some of our students of the week at home, some of our students of the week in here as well. We've got, in year three, Elle Fries has made an amazing effort with her home learning, and uh, keep up the super work. We've got, in reception, Veronica has been doing some amazing home learning, writing, maths, cooking and creating. What a star. Alex has been doing some fantastic learning about how to look after plants in nursery. He's even been to his dad's allotment this week. Owen has been working hard in lots of different ways this week from year four. He's even been baking in the kitchen. Well done, Owen. Mikey's been showing our school value of friendship in year one. Even though he's away from all of his friends, he's written letters to them to let them know that he's missing them. So well done, Mikey. Thank you for that. In year five, Josh has been doing some great creative writing with a paragraph packed with skills and lots of accurate punctuation, so well done. And Caitlin has also been producing her own home learning project work. You've done a fantastic job, Caitlin. In school, 
Sophie, Sophie Kite, you've been an excellent role model to those children who are younger than you this week, so thank you for demonstrating our school value of friendship. In Year 6, Phoebe and Lucas have been both showing fantastic endeavour with a wide range of learning. In Year 2, Solomon's been doing lots of different types of learning from home, including designing and creating his very own vegetable planter. And in Year 1, Jack's been very busy this week. He's been hatching his own brand new animals. You might have seen a photograph of them there. Could we please, in the hall, really big loud round of applause for all of our students for the week. Okay. Okay, we're going to do some Values Cup awards just to finish off. I've got three Values Cups awards to give out today. One for friendship and two for endeavour. One for friendship for year five. That's somebody who's been in school almost every day this week and her teachers have noticed that she's really embraced the challenge of coming into school and working with children of all different age groups. She's been playing with lots of different children at break times and lunch times and has been helping as well. So, we're going to pretend she's here. We've got a couple of house captains just to my left ready to give out the values cups. Who you a big round of applause first of all please for Frankie in year four, five. Well done Frankie! <laughs> Okay, now this next person's at home, so I'm going to ask my house captain to come and hand over the values cup to the camera. Um, in year two, she spent ages, ages this week constructing her own, her own model of the clock tower down in Exmouth, including brilliant work with cardboard, some fantastic writing with pen for the clock face, it's got Roman numerals, brilliant work. You can see it on our Facebook page if you want to go and have a look. So a big round of applause please to Emily in year two for her home learning this week. Well done Emily! <laughs> Thanks to the house captain there, over to Emily. Well done Emily. And finally, this person's in the hall. He's been showing Endeavour all week in school. He's been working hard in different parts of the school. He's been working hard on some writing. He's been working hard on some maths. And he's been doing an awful lot of construction work and imaginative play. So our values cut for Endeavour this week goes to Josh in Year 1. Round of applause to Josh, please. <laughs> That's you, Josh. You look too smart to get. Come on up, Josh. Be brave. You don't have to go on the camera, though. Come this way. Go and see our house captain, she's going to give you a value cup and a big handshake. Well done. Thank you everybody. I hope you've all had a really positive week. And we wish you lots of luck for the weekend and for next week as well. And we'll see you all on Monday for our Monday assembly.